first, we arrived at the Han restaurant and it looks absolutely crazy. Look at that. So right here you get the hot pot and everything is getting heated up and then you can dip it like a fondue chinoise in Switzerland. It's basically the same thing, but just with another broth. And you can choose between two or three different broths. This is how it works. You order everything at the tablet from drinks to the food. When you go at the food, you can see right here, you can choose what hot pot you want to get. And then you can choose what meat you want to have inside right here. The prices are really reasonable for Germany, like in the middle class. And then you can order more vegetables and everything. We already ordered everything and soon the food will come. Starting off with the Chinese beer. Honestly, it tastes exactly like a German beer and I'm pretty sure it's from a German brewery or a German brewery owns it. It's Heineken. Our local Asian guy just corrected me. German brewers went to Qingdao and created beer there. So that's why it tastes German, but it's still Chinese. Thank you for that. Mm. Schön. All right, let's get on with the garlic cucumbers. Really garlicky. You definitely don't kiss after that, but mm. then on the wagon, they bring all the stuff for the hot pot. Starting off with oysters, shrimps, got some corn, meatballs, fresh vegetables. Oh, and here are some sauces and over there is the meat. Look at yep. that. Mm. Omar is doing the sauce for me. Fills everything up in the bowl. First up, some sesame paste, hoisin sauce, garlic, garlic, spring onions, sesame oil. And there we go. Thank you. After that, we take meat or fish or whatever boil it in the broth and then dip it in the sauce and enjoy we're starting off putting in some of our stuff you just lay it in the broth and then it will cook to get everything out you have the big spoon to fish for your stuff mm. let's mix my sauce a little bit and have a first try good salty kick and i love the sesame paste Let's start off with the Angus beef in the tomato paste. Then we'll wait a little bit until it's boiled. We keep track of it, so don't lose your meat. And definitely don't leave it in too long because it's cooked through real quickly. We take it out immediately, dip it a little bit into the sauce. There we go. And now the whole thing. Good tender meat, nice flavor from the broth, a little bit tomatoey, good saltiness to it. Even the meat wasn't salted itself. And then with the paste, a fine roundup for the whole experience. The whole pot is fully boiling. Everything is ready. You just dip it in real quick and then you already can enjoy the food. 100% quicker than fondue chinoise and with more flavor, in my opinion. Good stuff. Look at this beautiful table. Look at this beautiful face. Just happiness all over the table. Mm -mm -mm. If you compare this to the Swiss fondue chinoise, the broth is way stronger in flavor, more salty. Definitely a different experience, but I really enjoy it. Oh, a little break. We have the 5A Wagyu. Looks pretty cool. Mm. Wagyu time. Just real quick. Shabu, shabu. Then Omar tries the Wagyu. I think his face says everything. There we go, 5A Wagyu. Roll it around a little bit. Perfect, perfect. A little bit from the sauce. And now 5A Wagyu. Mm. Okay, with this one, the meat, the fat, the flavor, the goodness, the tenderness, everything comes out. The 5 Fave Baguette is extremely delicious. Expensive, yes, but definitely worth it. Oh, so good. And here we got offered some dessert. I'm not really sure why. Probably because we almost ate the whole kitchen empty. It was so good, absolutely delicious. 
We ordered twice Wagyu beef. We ordered multiple beefs, multiple flavors of meat, everything vegetable wise. And now the pot is empty. Finished. I can highly recommend this experience. The Han in Hamburg. Here is the address. Check it out if you're nearby. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell.